just how you live or oh, take, take, take it all, but you never give. Hi guys, thanks to Polyvore's new permanent usernames, uh, Lexi in Love with Death Now, me, is now Nerdy Little Lexi. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make binder covers because so many people have been asking. So the first step is to find a background about the size of your binder cover. Um, then you just take a color and that's your background and you make it the size of the picture. And you can delete the picture behind it or leave it there. It's covered so it doesn't really matter. Uh, next, you're going to want to find a scrapbook background. You can just search for one and you find it in the color you want. And you fit it to the rest of the background. And I'll just show you how to do that now. Clone the background and make a small square in one of the corners. Now find a suitable picture that you want to put in. I'm going to use Giles with his sombrero from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Shrink him to the size you want and use that square as a border. So just stretch it out and get a border. To spice things up, add a picture but cut out just the subject. Next, find a picture but don't put a border on this one for a little bit of contrast. Now, you want to add some scrapbook fillers, just to, I don't know, just make it look pretty. Pick a couple flowers, you could even use another filler, just not to use scrapbook filler. Just something you like. I like flowers, but I didn't even use flowers in my other scrapbook things, so. You can use whatever, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to add some lyrics. I like text, you can add any kind of quote. I use lyrics, I use quotes. For now we're going to use some lyrics from the song Grenade, but you can use a quote too. Just anything and then cut it out the way you want it so you can read it. Now you're going to make it say your name on it. Just open text. I'm going to use the name Gianna. I have no idea why. I don't, is that even a real name? Whatever. Just make a text thing, put it on there. And um, if it doesn't show up very well, or if you just want to make it pop, you can put a color background. I always use white with text. I never use other colors with text. I just think white looks bad. So you just fit it to behind your name. I'm just going to give you a couple more tips. You can make some squares to put pictures on and just tilt them in many directions. It looks cool. Just for fun. Something that's always square is an icon, so if you want things to look uniform, use an icon. I just am picking random ones from the first page when I search icon. If you search icon edit, you're going to get better results. If you just search icon, you're going to get clothing items.